you guys have no idea how much I enjoy being here as myself without makeup, without doing my hair, without wearing my bath clothes. It's just, ah, finally, finally, I have the courage to do this. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to my show, Doe Family. I know you missed our Doe Family show and I miss it too. And I promise to share more about our Doe family members. I promise. I'm your host, Ms. Del, and welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, we are here to remember an identified Doe member, an identified Jane Doe. And before we start, I'm really, really sorry about my voice because it is really, really shaky. And it is because I am still sick and yeah, I haven't fully recovered yet. Like I have a runny nose and I cough all the time, but I don't want to make you guys wait. So we will start our case right now. Oh my God, I hate my accent sometimes, but it's okay. <clears throat> so. Marilee Brother went missing from Southern California in 1978. Her body was discovered in a state park in Utah just a few weeks later. However, her body remained unidentified for almost 40 years. After a little bit of luck, her family, wa her family was finally able to bring her home. Not knowing what happened to a loved one when they disappear can cause excruciating pain. Sadly, many people never get the answers they seek, but a lucky few get to bring their loved ones home, even if it's years later. Marilee Brother, age 33, was a single woman who lived in the Belmont Shore neighborhood of Long Beach, California. She resided in an apartment she disappeared from on August the 22nd, 1978. What happened to Marilee is a mystery, but the Long Beach Police Department took her case seriously. Though they had no proof, the police believed she had been murdered and classified her as an endangered missing person. On September the 3rd, 1978, a, a nude body was found two states away in Utah, near the Yuba Lake Campground in Yuba State Park. Three women fishing on the lake noticed the body near the dam and called the police. The body was found not far off Interstate 15, which runs from California through Utah and eventually ends in Montana. The body was of a young woman, but her identity was unknown. So, she was given the moniker Juap County Jane Doe. The medical examiner determined the woman had been murdered and had died of strangulation. Unfortunately, during the examination, the medical examiner felt the women, woman's age was approximately 10 years younger than she really was and 20 pounds heavier. This would impede the investigation and make it more difficult for authorities to identify her. Originally, the police believed the woman's body was one of four women who had gone missing in central Utah who have never been found. However, dental records ruled out that possibility and the victim remained unknown. However, 36 years later, there was finally a break in the young woman's case. In 2014, Juap County Sheriff's Department Lieutenant, Lieutenant Craig Ryan accidentally came across a hair sample from the, from the victim which had been misplaced in an evidence locker that the Sheriff's Department shared with the medical examiner's office. Lieutenant Ryan decided to send a hair sample to the University of North Texas Health Science Center for DNA testing. Thankfully, Marilee's mother and sister had already donated DNA samples of their own, which had been had loaded into a national DNA database in hopes they would one day get a match and find Marilee. Once the DNA results came back to Marilee Brother, 
the Joab County Sheriff's Department obtained copies of her dental records from Long Beach. On September the 20th, 2015, the Sheriff's Department determined their victim was indeed Marilee. The Long Beach Police Department was then contacted to let them know Marilee had been found. The Police Department notified her family, which finally allowed them to receive some closure in the case and bring their loved one home. However, questions remained. The Long Beach Police Department had very little information to go on when Marilee first went missing. Although, since her body was identified, the Police Department reopened Marilee's case to find out who killed her. How Marilee's body arrived in Utah when she disappeared from Southern California was an enigma. It has not yet been determined where Marilee was killed, so the police did not know if she went with her killer over state lines and was later killed there, or if she was murdered by her home and transported to Utah. However, it's a question the police department hopes to answer. Family of Marilee Brother continues to hope they will find out what happened to their loved one. They also have faith the person who killed Marilee will be caught and put behind bars. The Long Beach Police Department considers the case to be open and active. If you have any information on Marilee Brothers', Brothers murder, don't hesitate to get in touch with the Long Beach Police Department's Homicide Division at 562-570-7244. So this was the case of Marilee Brother and if you ask me about what I think, like there is a lack of information here so I cannot be sure about what really happened to Marilee, but I'm sure that we need answers in, yeah, all those stuff. This case reminds me of Walker County Jane Doe, sorry, also known as Sherry and Jarvis, my sister, and I also hope to get the answers to the questions we have on that case. So, yeah. What do you think? Do you have any more information? Just share them with me. Have a life full of stars. Till then.